Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Back and forth for years and stuck in the procurement process. Still no action has been taken to rebuild the dilapidated Simon Sanchez High School. While it's no secret that Gigo campus is broken beyond repair, former principal Beth Perez believes she made her best effort to keep the school safe for students. Perez, who was assigned to SSHS in 2010, was reassigned shortly after the Gigo campus was temporarily shut down by the Department of Public Health. Her reassignment to Antelon Middle School also came with a demotion to assistant principal. Uh, the basis for the demotion was what the department felt that the campus of Simon Sanchez was like uh, during a surprise assessment of the school on Saturday, November 16, 2013. Her attorney, Richard Johnson, argued her case before Supreme Court justices on Wednesday. The grounds for the appeal are that we feel that she was not um, treated uh, fairly during all, um, all of these proceedings and that the Department of Education did not follow its own rules and regulations in dealing with the situation. Today's argument wasn't her first try at getting her job back. She's already faced the Civil Service Commission and the Superior Court of Guam who ruled in favor of the Department of Education. We did not prevail at that point. We appealed to the Superior Court and we did not prevail there, so now we're in the Supreme Court. DOE legal counsel Jesse Nassis argued Perez knew her role as principal, as stated in her testimony before commissioners. He further argued that the case is not about her demotion, but, quote, the superintendent's authority to hold his employees accountable for their failure to perform their duties, end quote. Nassis acknowledged Perez's efforts, activating staff to fulfill vendor duties and even keeping a plunger at the side of her desk so she could unclog the urinals herself. Her efforts, however, didn't show when public health inspectors made a surprise visit five years ago. Johnson noted that all of SSHS's services were outsourced, including custodial, janitorial and yard maintenance. When these contractors failed to do their job, Johnson stated Paris was vocal, complained constantly and supported students who at the time were rallying for more than just band-aid fixes for their school. Johnson stated, quote, the fact that she had unclogged urinals and she and her staff purchased toilet paper doesn't make it her job to do that. She's covering for these people who aren't doing their job for the sake of the kids at the school. Now it's being used against her, end quote. KUAM files show that immediately after Paris's reassignment to Antelon Middle School, students rallied at school gates with signs that read, We love you, Mrs. Paris, and Simon Sanchez is incomplete without Mrs. Paris. The matter was taken under advisement. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.